So, um, as, as Steve has said, my name is Dal Healy. I'm the head of School of Health and Science in Dundalk Institute of Technology, which is in Louth. And within my school, we have a range of programs in the science and in the nursing and midwifery area. So, what I'm going to tell you a little bit about our project with Chambogo University in Uganda, which is only just really starting. But what I want to tell you about a little bit is how we actually developed this relationship, because it's actually an interesting enough story. What we plan to do in the project, some challenges which we can see maybe <laughs> emerging, and what great opportunities we think the project is going to give. I suppose our relationship with Uganda in our school started back in 2005 where our um, nursing lecturers developed a volunteer program for nursing, midwifery and early years education um, students to go out on a volunteer program in the summer period to Uganda, to Tanzania, Kenya and Rwanda. And some of those links were built up through the links with the medical missionaries of Mary who are based in Uganda um, because they would have been very closely involved in nursing education in in, in, in Loud. So that was some of the early relationships that we built. We then move on to the programme for strategic cooperation between Irish Aid and, and the HEA, um, which was a large funding scheme um, that emerged around 2008. And DKIT were successful in leading a, a large project there called Water is Life, which involved a collaboration between DCU Maynooth, TCD, and Makerere University in Kampala. And that project was all around looking at um, sustainable water development in Uganda and looking at all of the different aspects to do with safe water provision in Africa. So what is that to do with the nursing education? Well, I suppose it's the personal relationships that developed in that project that has led to this actual project starting. Um, <laughs> Professor Eli Kashinguka was the Dean of Postgraduate Studies in Makerere University, so he would have jointly chaired the steering committee of that project with, with myself and other, other members of the project. And um, that project went over a five-year period. And at the end of that um, period, he moved to a new post in Chambogo University as the vice-chancellor. And this university is a large public university in Kampala, which provides a range of programs, including teacher education, science, and engineering. But they planned to develop a BSc degree program in nursing in their Department of Biological Science. So he was aware that in my school we have um, significant experience in delivery of nursing and midwifery education programs. So it seemed a natural fit to build on that relationship and to look at could his new university and our college now work together on a new project in the area of nursing education. So I suppose really the partnership was built on relationships that were built through other um, kind of unrelated projects, really. And, you know, in the final Water is Life uh, period, there was a final project workshop in Ireland. So in that, um, the Vice-Chancellor of Chambongo and some of the staff came to DKIT, met with a number of our staff, visited the local hospitals, got to get an understanding of nursing education and the setup in Ireland. And then in the following spring, then, some of our staff went out to Uganda and met with his staff. And between all of that then, we decided that there was, it would make sense for uh, DKIT to work with Chambogo in um, the development of their new degree <coughs> program in nursing education, but that it would actually be incredibly beneficial to DKIT's nursing programs as well in terms of adding value to the experience of our students on the nursing programs. So we applied and we were successful in getting um, an ESTA partnership um, just at the start of the summer. So the project is really only starting. So ultimately what we're trying to do is to embed collaborative activities between Chambogo University, their emerging nursing program, and our well-established nursing program to look really at how we can um, share our program delivery and look at best practice in a way that we can look at um, de developing cultural awareness among our students both in Ireland and Uganda. So in terms of what the project will actually do, first of all, we have already worked very closely with the Ugandan team who are developing their nursing curriculum, which is going through all the different regulatory processes. And as the previous speaker said, a lot of this is down to the generosity and the time has been given by staff. So a number of our lecturers reviewed different modules of the nursing program from Uganda and gave feedback back to the Ugandan team. <coughs> There's a plan then for the Ugandan team to come to Ireland um, after Christmas and to work alongside our clinical skills laboratory where we have a simulation laboratory for our nursing skills and look at how we set up a nursing program there, what type of equipment we have and, and work you know, in terms of sharing of information for that. But the next piece then really is going to be in terms of, I suppose, where DKIT will get involved in terms of the benefit to our institution will be really the opportunities that will it bring for our staff to go over to Uganda 
um, for our students perhaps to do some um, placements out in Uganda because there is a new nursing, major, nursing um, standards that have just been published recently which will allow now stu nursing students to actually get credits for placements outside of the EU which is a new thing. So we hope that through this relationship with Uganda now our nursing students will be able to actually go and do placements which will get credits for in Uganda. We also hope to have some joint lectures between Ireland and Uganda um, using technologies such as Skype. And we also plan to look at perhaps um, in some of our modules um, which we have that might be relevant in either DKT or Uganda that there might be a shared assessment between the nursing students in Ireland and the nursing students in, um, in Uganda. So really we're hoping that it's going to be very much a beneficial relationship to both parties um, and as I said the real kind of work is we're just, we're just scoping that out at the moment and the real activity will start after Christmas. In terms of the challenges, I suppose for nursing education programmes there are different regulatory requirements in different countries so we have to be cognisant of that. Um, future funding, obviously the sustainability of the project has already been mentioned and I, and I think you know, even hearing some of the speakers today, it looks like some other parties are looking at similar types of activities so there might be scope for us to work on that. Um, I think as well things like the academic calendars and the structures of our programmes, even in terms of planning the timings of visits is something that can, can impact on how we do things. And then I think somebody else said the day job that we're all doing and you know, just to be able to give these projects sufficient time. We think there's an amazing opportunity for both our institutions in terms of sharing inter intercultural experiences which will have an impact on nursing care. It will allow both of us to review our curriculums in, in perhaps a different manner and will, will offer us um, student placement opportunities. Thank you.